Good, good afternoon, and welcome to a brand new live edition of CT Style. I'm Teresa Dufour. And I'm Ryan Christopher. I feel like it's worth jazz hands. We're back. We're back. We're hey. here. We're really actually at the station. Yeah, we're, we're not <laughs> we're on vacation working. again. But but we were hanging out, right, as I hope you were last week, hanging out for 4th of July. I know you were celebrating a lot. It was Dante's birthday. Yeah, we had a great time. It was just nice to not have to worry about getting out of the house and the weather yeah. was nice. Yeah, Dante turned four, so yeah. we had a little birthday party with him. Look at him sharing oh with goodness. his sister. What a good little boy. Sometimes I think we it's get a good moments mom. like this. Most times we don't, but oh, right. capture them when you do. So right. it's, it's, it's kind of like Instagram, right? Like you only post the best <laughs> of. <laughs> right. We uh, went to the Beardsley Zoo, oh. a little hidden gem in Connecticut. Uh -huh. You had, had fun there? We did. We had a great time. Did they you see the new monkey the exhibit? The spider monkeys, Aren't yes. Aren't those so cool? So cool. Did it's you, worth a trip down there. Did you get in there with them? Were you like, no, 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 nothing crazy okay. like that. But uh, we took it all in and we're just having our cake and uh, eating it too, I suppose. And how about you? You have a tradition of going to Myrtle Beach during yeah, 4th of July. Go with the family every year. So uh, we, we showed up at the airport and flew Spirit for the seventh time and six out of the seven times. They've been pretty tragic. Uh, but you know, why didn't scenarios. you go? I mean, I even because, gave, I told you, don't even. Because it's try. cheap. You know, I'm trying to save some money. So I figured, oh, I'll save $20 on the flight. I'll fly Spirit. Then you show up and come to find out, take the photo. We weren't too happy because the <laughs> flight was canceled, or at least Alexa wasn't. So we were in the we were in LaGuardia, so it's not like we could drive back home or whatever. And we had to get oh. to Myrtle Beach because we had the you the, had to get to Myrtle. We, we had to get there because okay. we no because we paid for the hotel. So oh, like I'm, I'm, you didn't I'm want getting to my money's the location. worth. Okay, right. I understand. So that was the first thing I said. Why did you continue to go to Myrtle? Because uh, we're we're hardcore. Okay, okay. We we had to go for it. So then we took this 13 hour venture overnight. You wait. You drove. Yeah. You no. both hopped in yes. a car and drove. We rented a car that was way too expensive, and but we were able to stop and see my grandparents along oh, the way. Oh, that's nice. So it was fun. You made the best of it. Yeah, it, it was like 10 at night. I was like, Mom, Mom, Pop, Pop, wake up. And so they're like, ha like, wait, wh why, why are, are you here? here? Right, what's, what's happening? happening? So we eventually made it down to Myrtle oh, Beach Myrtle. That's and terrific. had a fun time. And I know you, you've been going there my for a My grandparents lived there for about 20 time. years, so yeah. I'm familiar with Spirit Airlines. It's, it's a beautiful <laughs> spot down there. And I, I, I threw in some photos. My nieces, uh, Kelly oh, and so Nikki. Oh, so the whole family, the extended the whole family went. Everyone was there. Your dad? My dad was there. My brother, my brother's dad, How did they all get down? Did they have a different Flight? They flew, drove. I mean, it was just everyone. Uh, planes, trains, and automobiles. There was a book club. Look, Teresa, you, you could have been part of the book club. Alexa oh almost got eaten by a shark. Did it, you see any sharks? Because I know that was that's a thing sometimes. No, it's it's freaky though because I know a lot of shark sightings have been up this year. Right. So I was a little nervous about that. And then we went to oh. Senior Frogs and got those. Uh, How do you not hats. go to Senior Frogs? Uh, that's the best part, Deb. I, I mean, you've probably never had one of those yard <laughs> tall. <laughs> no, no, never, no. not in. No. Just water. What other and milk. sites did you go? Did you see Broadway at the beach? That yeah, was Broadway fun. at the beach. Uh, I, I feel like this is a commercial for Broadway Beach. Are, are we <laughs> getting paid for this? Are we getting a cut of the money? It's a fun summer trip, it is, nonetheless, yeah. and I'm glad you made it there. Did you book a flight home or did you drive? Because you could probably have dropped the rent a car off somewhere. Yeah, thankfully we flew home. You flew so home. So everything okay. worked out. But while we were there, and I'm sure you did, we watched the uh, the U.S. soccer game. Did you check that out? Yes, of course. That was, that was so huge. exciting. Yeah. Uh, in fact, it was history making. Team USA won its record fourth Women's World Cup title a second in a row. Looking, cutting, shooting, go! to the U.S. Such an awesome moment after scoreless first half, the U.S. women's soccer team won 2-0 to zero over the Netherlands in Sunday's final in Lyon, France. Fans were, of course, celebrating all across the country, but some of the biggest cheers were right here in Connecticut for goalie Alyssa Nair. Uh, she's actually from Stratford, and oh, her family, kidding. yeah, they hosted a watch party yesterday. It was really surreal, because we've been talking about this for the last 25 years, you know, waiting for it to happen, and we're so excited. We love that she's getting her moment in the sun. To me, this tournament was about how can I help this team win in 2019, and I'm just really proud and happy that I was able to, you know, be a part of that and get this job done. Oh, congratulations wow, to her, great. huh? I love the girl power. Yes. And the and celebrate. Megan Rapinoe's hair. I'm a big fan I'm a of big, also. Yeah, that too. Um, <laughs> how, how about Alex Morgan? Did you see her dance moves in the locker room? No, were they impressive? I missed uh, that Well, also. I mean, so to, 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 to each their own, hair. I guess. You'll have to go check that out on, on Instagram, I guess. <laughs> All right. Well, moving on now. The first trailer for Disney's live action remake of Mulan actually premiered during the Women's World Cup final. This is big. I mean, it's crazy because now Mulan is out. They they just released no Aladdin. Cartoons, huh? Lion King, Little Mermaid. It's just crazy how they keep remaking all of these here. Uh, Jet Li is actually going to be in the film, uh, and the trailer is available online right now. We actually have it on our website, WTNH.com, if you would like to check that out. It's going to hit theaters uh, March of 2020, so you'll have to wait oh, we a have little some bit time. for that. Break your yeah. calendar. Yep, yep, yep. All right, uh, the great Stevie Wonder made an announcement to his fans at a concert in London on Saturday. 
going to have a kidney transplant in September of this year. I have the donor. It's all good. All right, so he was sharing the news there of his kidney transplant, and Wonder told his fans that he wanted them to know before any rumors were spread. He's going to be 69, or he, he is 69, excuse me, and he will perform three more shows until taking a break for that medical leave. So, of course, we are wishing him all the best, a true legend Absolutely. in Stevie Wonder.